Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and I am currently at a bar called Southside Social, and right next door is a music venue called The Signal, and I'm very excited because this evening I'll be photographing Mammoth, WVH, aka Mammoth Wolfgang Van Halen, and uh, Heather's making this video clip with my Canon R6 and the 24-70 2.8, which I'll be using, and I've also brought the 70 to 200 2.8, which I'll probably use a little bit as well. So I can't wait to get started and show you some pictures from this awesome venue of this awesome artist. Heather made a few clips with her cell phone from where she was on the front row, and I think I'll sprinkle them throughout the video. Not very many of them, just a few. And here's the band as they were first coming out onto the stage, and I had already gotten myself a seat the barricade has seats on the back side of it, on the stage side of it. I don't think this gentleman right here had ever shot at the signal before, but I have, and you can see me there in one of the seats that's on the barricade. And I'm getting the shots right here that you're about to see in a moment. All right, well, the show started off with really red and really backlit lighting going on, and I went ahead and made some shots. I decided I, I shot the first band in full manual, and when Wolfgang came up, I decided to switch to auto ISO, and this backlit shot came out to 10,000. Lights are starting to get a little bit better now. ISO 200 on this, and I sped my shutter speed up to 1 640th. Still uh, kind of a white balance nightmare going on. Still the white balance nightmare here, but I love the way this 16 by 9 crop turned out. 8,000 ISO, 1 640th. I just let the colors be bad. Uh, a lot of times when it's really, really red like this, you can't, or I can't, get a uh, perfect skin tone. So I just let the lights do their thing on this one. And I love the way this 16 by nine shot turned out. Uh, Wolfgang's face is perfectly in focus. Uh, the guitar, which is much closer to me there in the pit, is drifting out of focus on this 8,000 ISO 69 millimeter F 2.8 shot. And all the early shots that I'm showing you now are with the 24 to 70 F 2.8. Here's another shot with that combination. This one's a 70 millimeter shot. I do wish that Wolfgang would step to the side of his mic stand, but sometimes as soon as he gets done playing a guitar solo, he's gotta be singing immediately, so I can understand. The lights look really fantastic in person, but when you're doing photography or video, like Heather is with the cell phone, it's really difficult on the white balance. I like the way this one turned out and I black and whited it and it, I think it looks pretty cool. This is Frank Sidoris. He uh, is a guitar player that tours with Wolfgang. Now when we saw them in Knoxville, he had a family emergency and he was not there, but it was cool to see the whole band in Chattanooga. This is John Jordan. He is completely awesome and he did a really great job. I love this guitar he's playing. This is a Wolfgang Custom, which I don't think they even make these anymore. And I think when they did make these, they did not have this extra switch here. And this one is really thick. I don't know if the Wolfgang Customs that were sold to the public are as thick as this one is. But anyway, really cool guitar and really great musician. And here's Wolfgang. Now he is playing a prototype SA-126, which is semi-acoustic January 26. Eddie Van Halen's birthday is how it got its name. Really cool guitar. During this song, there were um, some little bit better lighting and I was able to get the white balance pretty close to right on Wolfgang's skin tones. So that is cool. I like the green lights coming from the back. Also this carpet that Wolfgang is standing on, he takes that to all his shows and this pedal board is awesome. I think it might be the pedal board that his dad used at the Cafe Wa show in New York City a few years back. Got a little, even with, uh, even shooting wide open, got some kind of light stars on these bright lights coming right at me and, and the uh, 2470 f 2.8 is great at controlling lens flare, but with that bright light shining right at you, there's gonna be some, and I thought it was really kind of artistic looking, the lens flare off of that light. Really like the way this shot turned out. Out. and also in on this shot of the SA-126 you can see the they're not block inlays on the neck they are E for Edward inlays on the neck and and uh, there's also the mammoth logo here on the 12th fret which is pretty cool here's one where Wolfgang had enough time to step to the side of the microphone during uh, a solo so that was pretty cool to be able to get a uh, nearly full body shot of Wolfgang here at 35 millimeters and uh, still kind of cool looking lens flare in this and light stars even though it was wide open I was still getting light stars those lights are so bright the photographer with the gray hair who was about to enter the frame is Wolfgang's uncle Pat Bertinelli 
Here's some more solo work, 70 millimeter shot with the 24 to 70. And I, I, I kind of tried to move around to where I could get these light stars to come off of, of Wolfgang's shoulders or his head or his guitar. And here's one example of it. He's uh, ripping it there, got his uh, right foot off the ground as he's playing. Pretty cool shot, full body, 39 millimeters, shot that one vertical. And now he's back over and singing and playing the SA-126. And now let's play some more lead guitar work. Very cool. This shot is 24 millimeters, which is nice because you can get a full body shot there from the pit at 24. Some more solo work, and I definitely planned to try to catch that light near his shoulder and elbow. I was moving myself around a little bit trying to catch the light stars. And this is my favorite shot of the whole show. And most of these I've got uh, four by five because that's what works well on social media. And um, I was working as the social media photographer for, for the venue. But I made also a 16 by nine version because I like 16 by nine because I do YouTube. And I love the way the, the light star is right there on the guitar neck. Only thing I don't like about this shot is the mic stands in the way, but you know, that's where the mic was. So that's the way it turned out. Really, really my favorite shot, but there's some other good ones. Stay tuned. During this song, there's a uh, kind of a multi guitar track solo. It starts out with one guitar and then Wolfgang, I knew he would walk over to the other guitar players during the solo. That was the good news. I was ready for it. The bad news is the, the light over where they were standing was just horrible. So I black and whited most of these shots including this one at 24 millimeters and this one at 45. I cropped the other one a lot more than this one. And another 45 millimeter shot. <laughs> they look like they're having a really good time. And then this next one, I just left it I, I didn't adjust the white balance on this one so you can see what I was working with. And, and it looks cool red too. I, I like the black and white and the red on these. And then on the next shot, the it this part is still going on, but soon Wolfgang will have to sing. So he's walking back over to the microphone in this 41 millimeter shot. And you can tell he's he's having a good time, but he had to, uh, he had to leave those guys and come back to where the light is better on the stage in the center. Here's some more licks being played by Mr. Wolfgang. Wolfgang Van Halen, another 2.8 shot. I think I shot everything wide open at 2.8, and this one's 46 millimeters. Still using the 24 to 70. I got to shoot the first three songs in the pit, and I'm still in the pit at this point. Um, another shot with the 24 to 70 here. Here is Wolfgang Van Halen doing some Van Halen, and I, I think he may be doing the uh, the 12 fret harmonics here. And here is another John Jordan photograph with Frank Sidoris in the background. Thought that turned out pretty cool. Now they played an Allison Chains song called Them Bones, and on Them Bones, Wolfgang sang the the background harmonies, and John sang the lead. And I thought it was interesting. Here he's got his pedal board, and right here is the set list for the night. But right over here is the lyrics for Them Bones to make sure he's not messing that up because that's not something they play all the time. But we were sure happy that they played it at our show because I like that song and they do a great job with it. Here's another picture of Frank. He was always in uh, kind of tricky light way over at the side of the stage. So this one took 16,000. This is Ronnie Ficaro. He is an awesome bass player and very animated during the show. And he's playing one of those Wolfgang basses, which I don't know if they even sell these. Uh, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I, I've, I've seen uh, uh, Wolfgang has a couple of these that I've seen him play with Van Halen. And I've seen him play with Mark Tremonte when I saw them play in Nashville. Ronnie plays one as well when he's touring with Wolfgang. Also, look at this uh, mammoth tattoo. I know the one on Wolfgang's wrist is a real tattoo, but I think some of the other guys actually got mammoth tattoos as well. I have switched to my 70 to 200 because I wanted to get some photographs of the drummer who's further back and you need a little bit more focal length for that. On this song, Wolfgang kind of came almost to the edge of the stage, almost right in front of me and was doing this solo. I wish I had my 24 to 70 still on because I could have been wider than this. This one's 100 millimeters and he, he gets closer and I go all the way to 70 and he's still more than filling the frame. Here's a 70 millimeter shot from that guitar solo and here is another one and uh, you can see he's doing some Van Halen and I think this is the solo from 
a song called Mr. Ed, which I'm pretty fond of that song. Continuing to solo during that, I, this was uh, one of the highlights of the show from a pit photographer when the when the star of the show comes right up to you. Uh, unfortunately, I was using the wrong lens, but it turned out fine. These uh, little extra close-up shots, I usually like to have the whole guitar in a shot, and on these I couldn't do that, but they still came out pretty cool. Continuing with that solo, kind of the, the finishing notes of that solo now, and more finishing notes very cool very cool very cool here is a video clip that heather made of me and uncle pat as we're both photographing wolfgang during that guitar solo those are the photos i just showed you and when the solo's over i start photographing the drummer and now I'm doing what I put the 70 to 200 on for, getting pictures of the drummer. And his name is Garrett Whitlock. I'm pretty sure he's the drummer that I saw um, when Wolfgang was in Tremonte's band, Mark Tremonte's band. I'm pretty sure this is the third time I've seen him, once with Tremonte and twice with Wolfgang. And look, he also has a very real looking mammoth tattoo. 135 millimeter shot from the pit to the drum set. And I like the way they have the stage set up to where the drummer is not blocked by other members of the band. You can you can shoot or see straight back to the drummer. Here's a detailed shot of the headstock of the prototype EVH SA-126 guitar that Wolfgang was playing. This is the relict one, the white one that kind of looks like it's 50 years old even though it's almost brand new. Here's another shot of John Jordan as he was singing some backgrounds vocals and he has the Mammoth logo on his ear monitors. Pretty cool. Also his shirt says be nice to dogs which I like that. Here's another shot. Maybe a little bit better job on the white balance on this one and uh, as him singing some background vocals at 177 millimeters. I'm sure I'm still in the pit for this shot. I don't know exactly when I left the pit in terms of these photos. Here's another shot of Wolfgang playing, playing some riffs. 86 millimeter shot and I like the juxtaposition here as you can see John in the background. I thought that turned out kind of cool. He's bokeified, but you can still see him enough to see that it's him. And the third song they played was uh, Epiphany, I believe, and it has a lot of keyboards in it. He doesn't use any backing tracks. He actually brings a keyboard with him, even though it's only used for a couple of songs. But the keyboard is way at the back of the stage, so uh, 158 millimeter shot to get Wolfgang at the keyboard. And there is Wolfgang's mammoth tattoo. Another shot of Wolfgang. He's standing back all the way back at the keyboard, but playing a guitar part. I don't like the way this shot turned out, even though it had a lot of ISO. Here's another shot of Ronnie Ficaro, the bass player who is constantly moving during these shows. I mean, he is quite an entertaining character. Another shot from that series, 89 millimeters. And I think it's right about here where I left the pit. I think I may have made this shot from the crowd of John as he has now switched over to a Paul Reed Smith guitar, which he has a YouTube channel and uh, he plays Paul Reed Smith on it quite a bit. You should subscribe. Now this particular SA-126, I had never seen pictures of. The other two that he plays during this show I had seen pictures of, although they weren't out when I saw him in Knoxville. He wasn't playing them yet, but I had seen pictures on shows after the Knoxville show that we went to. But this one I had never seen before this day, and it's just a beautiful, uh, I guess that's a quilted or curly maple book matched top, and uh, you can see this one has um, covers on the pickups that have the EVH logo, gold hardware, and still the SA-126 with the with the E-shaped block inlays for Edward. And also this, this F-hole is an E-hole. It's shaped more like an E, where a lot of guitars have an F-shaped hole on the semi-acoustic guitars. Anyway, and also Wolfgang is uh, playing some lead type work and singing his heart out. So very cool shot all the way around. And you can see this one was definitely from the crowd because here's some people's heads in the foreground. Another keyboard part, and you can see that Wolfgang is preparing to play a keyboard part and finishing up a guitar part, so that's that's pretty cool. Double duty, triple if you count singing. Another shot with that beautiful, beautiful SA-126. Doing a little pick slide here. And now some leads. Another shot of Ronnie. You never catch him just standing still. He is constantly in motion. I learned that uh, if you want to get Wolfgang smiling, you probably need to take pictures in between songs. So I took a, a number of shots of him in between songs. That's the good news. The bad news is a lot of times in between songs, they have the lights down and the white balance weird. So I had to black and white a number of these between song shots, but I like that. He would make some funny comments in between songs and it was fun. Back to work, Wolfgang. There he goes, playing hard on that SA-126. 
126. And now we're back between songs again, still between songs, and back to work yet again, thrashing on that SA-126. More soloing, I like this shot a bunch. And now we're between songs again, and this is another one with the gold hardware and the cover, uh, the pickups are covered up on this SA-126. This one, another curly maple, uh, but this one's Tobacco Sunburst. This one I'd seen a number of pictures of. That other one I'd never seen until that night. Now I'm at the back of the house with some full stage shots that might look better full screen. I let the, I didn't try to fix the white balance. I just let everything be red on this. And I like the combination of the red lights and the white light. And again, here's another example of how they have the drums set up to where they're not in the way. You know, if he was directly in the center of the stage you wouldn't be able to see the drummer in this shot i like that stage setup another shot of that same variety the signal is an awesome venue they the this pa that you see uh just the side of hanging from the hanging from the ceiling stays at the venue all the time there's big subwoofers uh i think four cabinets with 218s on each side of the stage and all these lights stay at the venue all the time so if you've got a if you've got a band you can play there and not have to bring tons and tons of lights as a matter of fact, as a photographer, the bands that do bring their own lights to supplement these, it's usually way harder to photograph because they've got all sorts of crazy strobe lights going and these lights are much better to photograph under. Another shot from that sequence. I kind of like those white lights almost have a little bit of a blue tint to them in this shot, which I kind of like. And here's it. This is another between songs shot, kind of uh, almost uh, let's get a really good picture of the Tobacco Sunburst SA-126 while Wolfgang is smiling. Oh, I should put the settings back up there. And there is that same Tobacco Sunburst SA-126 while Wolfgang is playing and singing. You can see his, his uh, mammoth picks taped onto the mic stand, so he's ready to toss those. And I specifically tried to get this person with their uh, number one fingers in the air in this shot, so I thought that was all right. Back to some lead guitar work. He's he's a pretty dead gum good guitar player and a just a great riff designer. He's got there's a lot of really really good riffs on his album. Belting it out there, really letting it rip. 168 millimeter shot, and now we've got an opportunity to clap. And Ronnie is going to let us know that we should be clapping, and so is John. And you can see some clappers in the foreground ground in the crowd love the uh love the way this shot i was able to frame this shot even though wolfgang's not directly in the center of the logo i've got the logo pretty much centered in the shot and these lights look nice and you can see the drummer garrick whitlock doing his thing in the background as well and wolfgang's back on the the relic sa-126 this one doesn't have covers on the pit guards i think this is another between songs shot but it was just nice so, you know a lot of times Wolfgang's got his eyes closed while he's performing so and you can see they've been working hard look at all the sweat in Wolfgang's hair they have been working hard up there this shot's 12,800 ISO just was terribly noisy but I, I was way on the other side of the barricade doing some work and I wanted to make Heather the focus point so you can see everybody on the front row including Heather a lot of troubling white balance during this section of the show so a lot of these shots are black and white there's Wolfgang still working hard. I went back to the back for another full stage shot. This one I black and whited. Came out pretty cool, I thought. More black and white work of Wolfgang as he's working. This one I've got some uh, some foreground bokeh of somebody's hand in the air. Of course, way out of focus and a couple of uh, people working their cell phone cameras. Another foreground bokeh shot with some crowd members doing their thing. And yet another one of those two cell phone shot with Wolfgang in focus in the background working hard. This is one of my favorite shots of the night as well. This one, the white balance worked out and ended up looking really good while Wolfgang is taking a, a uh, doing some licks and singing hard at the same time. That has got to be really difficult to do those two things well at the same time. They played uh, the Foo Fighters song Hero kind of as a tribute to Taylor Hawkins who had passed recently and this is the very last note of that song where he had uh, strum the guitar and is kind of leaning with his hair slinging out. I thought that picture turned out cool. And this is during band introductions. Uh, Wolfgang had introduced the entire band and the last thing he says is, and I'm Wolf, and then he gives the crowd a little peace sign and he's back to the beautiful newest of the three, I believe, SA-126 guitars. And now we're he's uh, working on the encore, showing off that SA-126. 
cool shot I thought still working on the encore here playing and singing hard now every Van Halen show that, that that I've ever been to and probably everyone that's ever happened the band would come out and uh, join hands and then raise their arms up like this and then do a bow while the crowd goes crazy so I was really happy to know that this was coming and to be ready to make this shot from kind of the center of the background look at all the happy people uh, Heather's so short you can't see her hands over here but she was there still on the front row she stayed in her front row spot the entire night and this turned out really Really cool. Man, I was so happy to get to photograph this band. Well, that was completely awesome. I did three songs in the pit. Actually, I did two songs in the pit for the first band. I could have done three, but I said, I'm going to fill up my memory card. So I left after two songs. And then I did three songs in the pit for Wolfgang. And then they didn't make me stop shooting. So I shot all over the house for the rest of the show. I filled up my first memory card and probably two thirds of the way through my second memory card. So I've got a billion pictures to go through to pick out the ones I like. Uh, the show was really good, sounded good. Um, last time we saw them, they were, they were missing one member of the band and Wolfgang had uh, injured his ankle. So he had to sit the whole time. This time every, they were 100%. Crowd was good. Uh, Heather was on the front row. It was awesome. So uh, I hope you liked the pictures and uh, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Bye-bye.